Hey everyone and welcome to today's episode of Daily Scooby News. A pair of divers were diving, not swimming as most news outlets have said, uh, off the southern west tip of England, also known as Cornwall, in early July when they came across something pretty awesome. Yeah, so biologist Lizzie Daly and underwater cinematographer Dan Abbott were diving as part of the Wild Ocean Week campaign where they were filming a series of videos to help raise money for the UK's Marine Conservation Society. Ooh, go Marine, yeah, MCS. Um, this is where they came across a massive jellyfish. So this dustbin lid sized jelly greeted the two of them. No, it didn't. It went, hello, hello. <laughs> That's what it did. <laughs> Don't touch me. Um, <laughs> So this jellyfish just kind of came out of nowhere um, in these sort of Cornish waters and they snapped a few pictures of it. Yes, yeah, so these types of jellies are actually commonly seen washed up on beach shores, but it's actually fact, it's in fact pretty rare to actually see one in its natural habitat, I'm guessing, at this big, especially right. something, yeah, this size. Uh, and the fact that they caught it on film is just awesome. This also isn't the only encounter that someone has had with a big old jelly. Yeah, so uh, a couple of days later, a fisherman was in the water uh, checking over his shellfish boat, as you do, uh, when another jelly came to come greet him. Uh -huh. uh, so this jellyfish was said to be around eight feet long and four foot wide. He's that's, a monster! That's pretty big. Um, hey, but water magnifies things. No, it doesn't. Uh, now, this big old jellyfish, uh, or basically a was big. a big jellyfish, and I missed out a letter there. You did. Um, now, like John, like John. John? What is it with you today? Now, like Sean said, these jellies are pretty common in our waters, but why are we starting to see the bigger ones so close to the water's surface and also so close to shore? Now, we say bigger, we've got perspective. The, yeah, that, that was one thing that bugged me, the way that a lot of the newspapers covered this. They're like, oh my, look at this. And they got this massive jellyfish, but it's like really close to the camera and the diver's quite far away, yeah. so it, it, perspective. And as I said, no one else really saw that eight foot one. So it's all like they're coming. It was anyway, a mermaid. It was a mermaid. <laughs> anyway, there are two reasons for seeing these big old boys. Uh, the first being that trawler fishermen are capturing more of these beasts in their nets, so we're hearing more stories about them. And the second one is all due to climate change. Our waters are warming up, especially in Cornwall, so the bigger boys are coming out to play. In fact, some experts are warning there's going to be a giant jellyfish invasion, just like back in the day the Vikings, <laughs> the Vikings did to us. They're going to be on boats. Yeah. They're going to pillage us. Hide your silverware, everyone. Do it. The jellyfish are Lock up your wenches. <laughs> Um, so yeah, basically this summer we may in fact see more of these giant dustman sized jellyfish, um, which I'm kind of okay for because jellyfish are cool. Yeah. Um, and whilst everyone's like, ah, actually if it touches you, you might get a rash. And also when they take over the world, we need to be like, we here first, we accept you as our leaders, jellyfish. Yeah, they're, they're pretty basic creatures. You've got to be nice to them. Yeah. Um, they don't understand sarcasm neither. Uh, anyway, what would you do if you came across a massive jellyfish? Uh, let's have a chat about them in the comments below. Um, they're kind of, they're fun, they're squidgy little things. They, they kind of do their thing, they, they don't get in the way, just swim around it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, if you like this story, oh, I can't read today. You can't, if you like this story, Please. then why not give us a like? Oh no, I, even I can't say it. Why not give it a like, share it with your driving buddies, and to keep up to date with all things scuba, Smash that bell icon. Thanks for watching and safe diving. We haven't been drinking, I promise. <gasps> It's that time of year again, that's right, the Diver Awards are back, people. Now, this year is a little different for us. We're, of course, up for Dive Retailer of the Year, so if you love our website, think our customer service team is plain awesome, and, of course, enjoy our advice and review videos, we would love to have your vote. And, as well, thanks to our Mark One Dive Torch, we are now in the Product of the Year category. So, if you have purchased the Mark One Dive Torch, or if you've just fallen in love with it, then please feel free to vote for that as well. To cast your vote, just click on the link in the comments. Thank you. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.